Hey everybody, this is not a spring chicken. I think, oh wait a minute, are the Republicans getting it through their head? You mean, oh, the Republicans in the House said, what, it's a free vote because no matter what they do, it's not going to pass the Senate. Oh, when it comes to Obamacare. Hmm, well, we'll keep you posted. For now, we're going to bring on Kamala with comments. And it's all over for the Republicans. Well, it is. I mean, Carl Rowe is throwing a fit. You're going to bring it into the party if you vote to defund Obamacare. You simply have to give him what he wants. And then in 2014, we'll take the Senate. And then we'll be able to, to, uh, to do the things then. Well, the problem is, is that it gets more and more entwined in every... Okay, it, it is a total and absolute train wreck. They're basically going to have a soft opening on Obamacare signups in 2014 because they don't think, the only, you know, the only people that are going on Obamacare is the people that are being thrown off of company policies of which <laughs> Obama said would never happen. Really? Yep. And Obama says Republicans are no better than criminals, then staff corrects what he says. What yeah. was no, that? He said they're trying to, said for the first time in American history, you know, extremists that are wanting to destroy this nation, you know, with their criminal conduct, are trying to blackmail the president of the United States, and then they basically corrected all of that because every president we've ever had elected when it came to the debt ceiling basically had to give up something in order to get the debt ceiling increased. Well, they always had to. But he said, but he also made remarks, well, it's because I, the, there are members of the Republican Party that don't want to see a black president succeed. He always goes back to he the He always goes back to the race card. He always pulls the race card. If the, You had Mitt Romney uh, and, and, and uh, John McCain who were terrified of that race card, the same as um, 39 members of the House of Representatives, including Bob Boehner. I know. Well, no wonder why. It's effective, right? It works for them. It can't be effective. If you tell him, you know, first of all, you're, you're, uh, you're the biggest racist that this country has ever seen. He really seen. is. You know, and then, and then oh, what does Flea Obama say? Flea says, you have to understand, Republicans, you are not elected by the people in a liberal area. You have to keep your voters, but they don't seem to, the Republican leadership has not got it to their head, including Karl Rowe, is that you cannot win uh, if you basically lose your own constituency. Mm -hmm. And questions persist after 107-year-old man dies in confrontation with the SWAT team. <laughs> I know, basically, he, they said that he threatened them. Uh, he's 170 uh, years old and had a walker. Ooh, they felt threatened by a 107-year-old? They knew he was old. He couldn't see, couldn't, basically blind and deaf. He's 107 years old he's, and feeble on a walker and had a gun, so they had to protect themselves. Well, basically, they protected themselves right into being suspended. And, put, and been brought, and they're bringing him up on manslaughter charges. They uh, they were already told that the guy was 107. They were told that he was uh, an elderly individual that can barely see or hear. Or was trying to rob the bank. Uh, yeah, like, he wanted to get killed, and they basically did it. But it was a mistake, though. Oh, that was. Well, they're they're putting those people in jail. Like the other day, a police officer shot and killed a guy. That was trying to get help from an auto, from a major auto accident. What? Yeah. They said he was he was pounding on a door asking the people inside if they would call the. the yeah, you know, they would he probably asked to call an ambulance, call for help. Yeah, call for help. And when they came, he thought they were coming for help, and then they shot him. They uh, put they charged the officers with manslaughter and, and this what? one, but they're gonna this one is gonna be charged with that. They're gonna get them higher than manslaughter before they're done. What in yeah. the world? They said that they they said that they uh, they said the officers that were not part of their group said that it was obvious that the guy was coming to them for help, and they just shot him down in the street. Yeah, I'm like totally disgusted. That's, that's yeah. uh, I'm like. Well, they were they were southerners, and he was a black person, so. <sighs> Mexico details irregularities in freeing drug lord. Yeah, <laughs> there's always irregularities in a drug he didn't have money, so he just bought his way out. That's how it works. <laughs> but Obama is going to end the drug problem by allowing drugs to be sold in our country. Then, therefore, there will be no reason for these drug lords to exist. Well, uh -oh, what did Lee Obama just say? He said three people just died in Colorado because they were using synthetic 
uh, marijuana because it was cheaper to get than the marijuana the state's allowing to be sold. That's just like And then dr one. the drugs will always be cheaper from the drug lords than it will be from the government. That's why they still sell drugs in countries where drugs are legal. Um, Starbucks says, uh, no guns, please. Is cultural powerhouse inviting trouble? Oh, God, yeah, because they said that they think, <laughs> they, they think as many as 40% of the people that go into Starbucks carry guns. Really? Starbucks are very popular. Oh, because the police like to go to Starbucks. Yeah. But... <laughs> well, he said, we don't intend for police not to do this. Well, uh, yeah, but if you... And they don't intend... Okay, the problem comes... They said that they're not going to leave their guns. They're not going to go leave their guns. The police are not going to leave their guns. The military. Well, yeah, he's been correcting it since last night. They also pointed out the fact that uh, somebody on one of the on the Starbucks where he goes to most put a big sign up. He said, uh, "Chairman, uh, CEO of Starbucks invites you to come in and rob his store. Guns are banned in this establishment. Have a field day." <laughs> And he was unhappy with that because he said they are not banning guns. They're asking the people do not bring them in, and it's strictly voluntary. And he said, no, that's not what they said originally. That is Gosh. not what was said. It makes me think of some of the McDonald's because I, I remember seeing that little logo where there's a gun and there's an X through it going mm -hmm. into McDonald's. Yeah, but they said <laughs> that here's a good one. They said every every single establishment that put, has put it puts a gun-free zone up on it gets robbed. Every one of them. Oh, they do? They're just, he said it's a signature. Okay, here's what it is. The only people that don't pay attention to what you are saying are the got bad guys with the guns. Oh, wait a minute. They're criminals anyway. Yeah, but they said, <laughs> that, <laughs> they said that the guy supports uh, gun control measures. And, you know, and uh, he's basically trying to make a political statement, which he basically he's... has been backing off of for 24 hours now. Let me put it this way. He certainly did make a political statement. And it was bad because they said that the, the NRA uses, uh, basically Starbucks is a big customer of the NRA. Starbucks is a big customer of the military personnel carrying guns. Here's a kid. They said that, um, I'm, I'm an officer in the military, folks. I had a thing for carrying a gun. The uh, Marines on the naval base that are there to basically to be their protection were not allowed to carry guns on the naval base because of the President of the United States basically doesn't approve of it. So uh, they were not armed. I, I saw them uh, talking to one of the Marines that was in charge, you know, and he said specifically, he said, they, they, we, I have to leave my gun at home. And I'm, suppo I'm, I'm, I'm supposed to be here to protect people. We have no guns. So... And um, U.S. Oh yeah, that's what Obama is um, doing. U.S. debt hike emerges as main battleground over Obamacare. Well, okay, what's going to happen? Boehner is going to allow the Republicans to vote for it. Then the uh, Senate is never going to uh, pick it up. And then what he's going to do then is he's going to say, okay, you're now free to vote your mind, which means 39 Republicans will vote with the Democrats, mm -hmm. and they'll give Obama every single thing that Obama wants. Mm. And it seems the IRS did know from the beginning it is all at, at all political with the targeting of Republicans before the election. Well, I know. Here's the problem, folks. If, the, okay, the, Obama is now, okay, Obama was not going to step down before. That was almost a gimme. He was not going to step down. And he, you know, uh, but there, there's, he's doing nothing now but trying to protect his rear by trying to make certain that he never gets in a situation where they're going to bring criminal charge against him. Here's how it works is, if he doesn't fight completely, all it takes is maybe one big state to overrule the vote. And then Obama didn't win the presidency, Mitt Romney won. Because that's, that is the out of, you don't have to impeach him. If he, the federal election law said that you cannot win an election by fraudulent purposes, so therefore, he can be removed from office for fraudulently winning the election. Mm -hmm. so. <laughs> it's, it's the way the Democrats can get rid of him. Why do you think Joe Biden is out there in front? Because Joe Biden is known as Crazy Joe, and he's now all over the place talking about everything. Oh, he is? Yeah. And in Monty Bubbleism for the Mark Twain of the Animal Kingdom. Well, things have to be done when they have to be done.